वंस अगेन वी आर बैक ऑन एक बुन सोच की टी टॉक ट्रेन ऑफ थॉट विद एन एक्सक्लूसिव इंटरव्यू विद डॉक्टर समीर कारखाने सी ई ऑफ यंग पू एग्जीक्यूटिव एडुकेशन आर वी एफ सी इन इन अर्लियर एपिसोड इज एक्साइटिंग जर्नी और स्टार्टिंग ऑफ इज करियर एंड इज एक्सपीरियंस विद वेरियस कॉपरेट्स नाउ ही हैड बीन पार्ट ऑफ दी बोथ दी क्वाइंस एज फॉर एजुकेशन विच इज कंसर्न सो अ राइट एक्सपर्ट ऑन टी टॉक एक बोन सोच की to share about the online uh, learning concept which is there uh, sir how can one uh, stay relevant in the digitally transforming global li- landscape very very interesting and important question at a time in the world mm-hmm. where things are changing very rapidly mm-hmm. the world is undergoing tremendous digital transformation mm-hmm. every day are new challenges in the vuca world mm-hmm. problems of tomorrow are not known today so people don't know what to do okay this is a situation from a small entrepreneur sme till the chairman of a huge corporation mm-hmm. because technology the way and speed with it is moving mm-hmm. whether it is blockchain ai ml mm-hmm. the future looks like this ki the jobs which exist today won't exist after the next 5 years mm-hmm. irrespective of the industry you are in mm-hmm. so if this is going to be such a drastic situation in a digitally transforming world mm-hmm. are you going to remain relevant is a very prominent question correct and to remain relevant you will need two things mm-hmm. one is skills mm-hmm. and second is technological adoption correct third is also going to be a mindset shift you will have to have mm-hmm. and what i mean by this you mm-hmm. know first what you studied in your undergraduate or graduation level your formal skills whether you okay. are a doctor or you are a engineer mm-hmm. or a bcom graduate or probably an architect mm-hmm. that you have studied 20 25 years back or 10 years back correct okay. those are not relevant skills for challenges and opportunities of today and mm-hmm. tomorrow tomorrow yeah correct okay. because those skills will not help you to solve a problem of today mm-hmm. you must have been trained to work in a bank correct conventional bank but today's world is about google pay paytm and bharat pay correct okay. correct you are trained to work in a hardcore brick and mortar fmcg company by doing an mba marketing correct okay. but today's market is of modern trade e-commerce correct okay. you are trained for basic level of programming mm-hmm. in a technological space but okay. today's world is about ai ml blockchain Correct. Correct. So those skills are good fundamental skills. Mm-hmm. So you must have heard a concept of a T-shaped manager. Mm-hmm. Okay, where the depth of the T is the formal skills and knowledge and qualification and degrees you have. Mm-hmm. But that is not enough now. Mm-hmm. Now you will need the width of the T. Right. So that is about innovation thinking, mm-hmm. design thinking, mm-hmm. entrepreneurship, mm-hmm. data sciences, mm-hmm. data analytics, sustainability. Mm-hmm. So you will have to acquire these skills. either physically or on online platforms and there are so many free online platforms today mm-hmm. to acquire the skills for the jobs of tomorrow mm-hmm. so to stay relevant one you will have to acquire skills so reskilling learn unlearn relearn apply mm-hmm. failing very fast rapid prototyping you have to do with mm-hmm. your career so mm-hmm. there is nothing permanent now Correct, okay correct. so you will have to keep upskilling on regular basis mm-hmm. to even continue earning your current livelihood mm-hmm. otherwise that will also go away because companies correct. are moving digitally correct so correct. one upskilling is very very important mm-hmm. reskilling also is very important in the profession where you are mm-hmm. you must have a you may have a great experience and a domain but you have to correct. reskill in the same line correct. because newer things have come up Correct, correct correct and third is going to be a mindset change mm-hmm. you will have to have a very very different mindset mm-hmm. of taking highest level of risk mm-hmm. and an abundance mindset that you will be able to fit in and remain flexible mm-hmm. in any kind of jobs and situation because there will be no permanent jobs in the future mm-hmm. everything will be temporary okay. it will be freelancing jobs mm-hmm. and it will be all contractual jobs mm-hmm. whether you are a doorman in a company or you are the chairman of the company there is no permanent job anymore Yeah, okay. so that is a mindset change you will lose some things and you will gain some things mm-hmm. so these are three things upskilling reskilling and mind shift change are the three ingredients to stay relevant in a digital economy oh it's an excellent insight what we are getting exclusively on t talk ek pun soch ki 
given by Dr. Samir Karkhanis, who is, who is an expert in both the concept of online and offline uh, learning and in the digital platform, how the things are transforming, how the things are changing and we need to cope up with, the, uh, with that change. The only thing which is constant is and change and I think uh, at each and every phase we need to reinvent ourselves uh, to go to the next level. Uh, so one thing like uh, uh, we have seen your journey like you know for uh, I think approximately 17 years uh, hardcore you were part of and corporate you started with Mudra communication and worked within top uh, corporates and you were also part of an CMO of a premium base school and now ek bun soch ki entrepreneurship ki aapko kaan se aai kaan se aise laga pi aapko ne abhi entrepreneur banna hai so one when i turned 40 and with all these 20 years of experience i realized the way we were doing business or working will not be possible in the future mm -hmm. because everybody thing is going to be faceless digitally connected and global mm -hmm. i was fortunate to work with good institutions business schools and corporates but they were all traditional conventional academic businesses mm -hmm. future is going to be of digital online you have heard of metaverse you have heard of web 3.0 that is the future mm -hmm. and if i want to be a part of that for the next 15 20 years of my life i have to leave the legacy because legacy is a liability let me tell you mm -hmm. you have to start fresh every three to five years mm -hmm. and there is where i realize ki this can be done only if you are an entrepreneur Mm -hmm. So I moved into the entrepreneurship journey because this gives you time, freedom, opportunity to try new things, okay, okay. fail fast, mm -hmm. learn fast and scale up. Okay. Also this is the right time in India today to become an entrepreneur. So if you want to be an entrepreneur, this is now. Mm -hmm. Okay, because there is a lot of funding available. I was fortunate to be supported by really great investors and funds who understood my idea on how I'm going to transform education. So funding is available, access to market is available and most important, the young population in India is ready to experiment with new products and services. Mm -hmm. When I saw all of this put together, I said entrepreneurship is the journey. Oh, great. I think it's an excellent coming out from a comfort zone as a Dr. Samir Karkhanis is concerned. You want to explore the possibilities by looking at the future trends which are going to change faster and the opted uh, for being an entrepreneur. Sir, aapke ek bun soch ki Yangpo, aapne namkran kaisa rakha? So Yangpo is the world of unlimited opportunities. Okay. Ma khud bhi believe karta ho ki bohut zyada unlimited opportunities hai, we have to think about it. Mm -hmm. So us basis pe mene Yangpo executive education ya naam rakha sir. Oh, I, I want to explore opportunities. I want to give opportunities to people who work with me and are associated with me mm -hmm. and I want to do this globally. Good, great. I think uh, uh, with his rich experience at the corporate level and uh, started with the Mudra communication, understanding the uh, insights as for the consumers which are, which are concerned, uh, more marketing driven, understand the marketing aspects as for the businesses which are concerned and uh, he came out uh, from the comfort zone to start his own ent enterprise, Young Pool, like, uh, which is a world of an unlimited possibility which is there. It's an excellent uh, story of Dr. Samir Kar Karkhan is exclusive on T-Talk Ek Bun Soch Ki. I'm sure there's a lot of an insights what uh, we are going to have for our T-Talk uh, audience in our conversation with Dr. Samir Karkhan. Till then, stay tuned to T-Talk Ek Bun Soch Ki for a further episode with Dr. Samir Karkhan on T-Talk Ek Bun Soch Ki. Thank you very much, sir. So thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.